Yo, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today we got a full brake job to do on a Heister forklift. It's a H50 FT. And uh, I've had a, a few people reach out to me wanting to wanting me to do a video on how to do a brake job. So uh, we got one for you today. Uh, shout out Steel Crusher. He's the one that uh, emailed me wanting to know what tools that I use and uh, how to do a brake job. So we're gonna be uh, doing that. And uh, yeah, see you guys soon. Thank you guys for uh, following along. Uh, please like this video, leave a comment. Um, again, I'm just a guy, so uh, this is how I do brake jobs. That doesn't mean that this is how you're supposed to do it. Some people have different methods. Uh, some people are quicker than other. And so let me know in the comments what you guys think and if you have any uh, opinions on how to do it better. So yeah, see you guys uh, soon. Bye-bye. All right, here we are on the forklift. Um, <clears throat> so what we're going to be doing is a full brake job. The reason we're doing that is because the pedal goes all the way down to the floor. And once you pump it, then it finally gets pressure on the master cylinder, which is right there. Right there. We'll put a light on here so you guys can see. There's the master cylinder. All right, more than likely it's probably bypassing or it's not holding pressure. All right. So we gotta take the wheel off. And uh, there's the uh, wheel cylinder right there. We're gonna be replacing that. We're gonna be replacing the shoes and on that side as well over there. And uh, that's pretty much it, but kind of takes a long time because there's a lot of stuff you gotta take off. So uh, first things first, we're gonna remove the wheel and it's gonna expose us to the, to the axle. We'll take the axle off, we'll take the drum out and it's gonna expose us to all this stuff. All right, <clears throat> once you're in this stage here, you've got your uh, the pin that holds, or the uh, locking nut that holds everything in, and it's got your keeper uh, washer, whatever it's called. You just take take the little, uh, little keeper out, and then just unscrew this. You'll take the bearing out, and then uh, <clears throat> the drum will come right out. So I'll just do that real quick. We'll find the uh, one that's in, which is right here, down here. Let's uh, grab something that's in there. Uh, you 
use this one. There's your bearing there, right? That does not come greased. The uh, the gear oil greases that, okay? Or lubricates that. Just give this a little wiggle out. There we go. Destroy my hands. And there you go. All this dust you see here, it's from the brakes. We'll have to clean all this out. It doesn't look terrible at all. There's no, uh, I don't feel any deformation on the drums, so drums are okay. And here are the shoes. Everything looks pretty good, aside from all the dust. Um, here are the shoes itself. They don't look too bad, to be honest. Um, now, I opened this up so I can show you guys more or less how this works. Um, we're going to be replacing the um, master cylinder over here. And, uh, yeah, so basically how this works is you'll take each shoe out, right? It's got a uh, spring on it with an adjuster down here. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Here's your adjuster right there. And you adjust it from the back side you go underneath the forklift and there's like a little window all right you can adjust it with the tool and that that spreads out the bands more so that when you step on the brake it'll it'll catch more okay so yeah that's this here here's your wheel cylinder so pressure comes from the master cylinder to the wheel cylinder and that that expands out when you press the uh, the brake pedal and that goes to the drums and that's what makes you stop okay you got your uh, uh, springs here your tension springs and that's pretty much it there's really nothing else to it and then your your um, emergency brake cables right here where my finger is and that goes underneath the forklift up to your uh, cables right here on your handle <laughs>
we're just gonna clean this off we're gonna clean up we're gonna clean up the uh, brake drum we might sand this down a little bit just to get rid of any imperfections we're gonna replace this this seal here the seal here and the seal inside i don't know if you can see it or not it's down, down in there we'll replace these two seals the master cylinder we'll uh, bleed the brakes and uh yeah i'll take apart the other side we'll do the same thing and uh, that's pretty much it for this one it's not really difficult to do a brake job on a forklift especially when it has a dry system right a wet system is a little bit different and so whenever i do that i'll also try to film that but this one's pretty easy but you guys kind of understand the idea um uh, the hardest part is basically just taking all this out the springs out um these uh these little springs here that hold the, sh the shoes in place um and then your adjuster screw you have to take all this out just to get to the wheel cylinder you replace the wheel cylinder with the nuts in the back take the brake line out the nuts in the back this comes out we'll put the new one in and then kind of do everything in reverse okay and that's basically it all right let's do the same thing for this side let's knock this out real quick clean everything up we're gonna inspect this side and see how it is All right, if you're wondering how I uh, lifted this up so I can be able to do that, you see here these two blocks, okay? This is your mast, your first stage of your mast. All right, so I just put two, I tilt all the way back. I put two pieces of wood underneath and tilt all the way forward until the wheels lift off the ground. And so basically the front side is just being held by these two pieces of wood along with the other side, so. There's a few wax. I'll take our uh, Mueller chisel. Give it a few wax here. Pry it out a little. has one parts material handling supply talk to tanner best guy in the game right here material handling supply this is the seal for here and then the smaller one goes inside so we'll replace this one first we'll grab our handy dandy seal puller here Alright. 
I'll be replacing that. The new one. Clean this up a little. I'm sure this bearing does have a lot of grease because oil does not go into this bearing. Now you could use a flat uh, CO installer thing, but I just I usually just do this, and it works okay. That's all she wrote. Bada beam, bada boom. All right, make sure you use some brake cleaner and clean off the uh, the drum inside. Make sure this is spotless clean. You don't want any dirt, grease, or anything like that in here because that's gonna go where the drums, where the shoes are, and you don't want anything to affect uh, the material of the shoe, okay? Take some brake cleaner and clean this off if you need to, okay? Now, this is not a complete brake job because a complete brake job, like I said before, would be taking all this off and putting it new, but since this is in a good condition, um, we're not gonna replace that. We're gonna put it in. Um, and so next time, so uh, here in like three to five years or maybe less, depending on how long these, these shoes last, um, I already have the parts on hand, right? So next time it gets to where it needs new shoes, I just come replace the shoes and I know that everything else is new, master cylinder's new. And so that's one step less that I have to do. So this time is, you always want to order the parts ahead of time just in case, because once you open this, um, you really don't know the condition of it until you open it so it's best to have all the parts you need and so when you open it in case you need it or maybe if you don't need it don't replace it we'll put it all the way back and then next time you come and then needs break job you already have the parts on hand so uh, make sure the customer knows that and um yeah so not always everything needs to be changed but a lot of the times it does especially on super old uh forklifts <laughs> Make sure it spins good. No bindings. All right. Clean this part off here. All right, if you guys are in the market for a gasket maker, this one's pretty pretty legit. Uh, there's the part number right there, or ser yeah, part number, KP710-00150. This is a genuine Japanese Nissan part, okay? Uh, this is gonna go on the axle right here. We're not gonna cake this on, we're just gonna put a little bit here on the edge, and that's gonna be able to seal up this part right here to prevent any um, gear oil from coming out all right this stuff's the bomb this is for this is meant for a water pump um, I had a Nissan RB engine and uh, this stuff's like really really good so uh, highly recommend it you know if you have any other gasket maker it'll work but just don't cake it on okay uh, you don't want any gasket stuff in here because that's might get into your uh, into your gearbox so
All right, now while this dries up, all right, we're gonna go to the other side, do the same thing. We're gonna replace the master cylinder, bleed the brakes, and then uh, make some adjustments if we need to. Maybe it needs to be a little bit tighter. And that's all she wrote. All right, so next step is to remove the master cylinder. So we're gonna remove the, the line that comes in from the brake fluid reservoir up there, the little tank. So you're gonna see how nasty this uh, fluid looks. Uh, once we take it out, we put our pan underneath to catch all that fluid. And you can see how nasty that looks. So we don't want that. We're going to empty it all out. And then uh, we're going to put new brake fluid in and bleed the system after we put the new master cylinder in. So some of these come with a pressure sensor on the bottom, kind of like an oil pressure switch, okay? Make sure you uh, clean it, remove it, and swap it out on a new one, because they don't always send you the new one with the master cylinder. All right, so uh, the last step that we're doing is we're gonna be bleeding the system for just the master cylinder, okay? Some of these master cylinders have a bleeder valve or a bleeder screw, uh, this one doesn't. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna be using the line on the actual master cylinder so you're going to pump it 10 to 15 times and then you're going to hold the pedal down with one hand or if you have someone to help you out they can uh, use you can have somebody help you out and they can hold down the pedal for you with their foot or whatever as you open the uh, line there you're going to let all the air out and the fluid and then you're going to close it real quick as they're still holding or you're holding the pedal down okay and you're going to repeat that process about three to four times until the pedal gets hard. And uh, that's how you know that there's no air in the system and the master cylinder is uh, uh, holding pressure. Alright, so another thing that you could do is you could use one of these uh, brake bleeder tools. You can get these on Amazon. I think I got this one on Amazon. So. You uh, put it into where the wheel cylinder is down there. You're going to open the bleeder valve a little bit. You're going to put that there. And uh, it's going to be sucking out the air out of the system. Okay. You just connect it to your compressor. And you push the lever on it. And it starts uh, sucking the air down. Just make sure you are looking at the tank. And make sure that there's brake fluid in there. Or else it's going to keep getting air. Alright. So make sure the, the fluid is full as you're sucking the air out and uh, yeah that's uh, another easy way that you can do it by yourself thank you guys for following along uh, please comment um, let me know if I did something wrong let me know if you learned something uh, let me know your way of doing things if it's different than mine uh, sorry I couldn't do a full full brake job but um, I think that'll come on a little bit later on uh, these hats make sure you get yourself some Tecmo hats um, head over to their channel, head over to FordisHD.com. They got a lot of awesome merch coming soon. Uh, a full truck tour coming soon. All right, so stay tuned for that. Sorry, it's been taking a uh, kind of long. Uh, we've been very busy. We might be collaborating with Tecmo, so that's uh, that's been in the works. So I promise you guys a full truck tour is coming soon. And uh, yeah, thanks.